Oh yeah. So now I might have to sit down and make another dragon. But fortunately it's going to have to be in pieces again. Because I had to glue it all together. And then after that I just took some styrene plastic. Made some bases out of it. We got the iron giant with the bong on his head. On um, both. And that almost looks like they're guardian, guardians of the dragon. I love dragons. But this guy is going to my computer case. So that way it empties up the empty room. But unfortunately I had a misprint after... 8, I think 8 to 10 hours per wing. So that's 20 hours right there in a wing. The dragon itself, I have... No clue. 16 hours, 17 hours maybe to print. And then you got the tail. Because I had to break it quite a bit in half. So thank God for Tinkercad. It worked. And you can see I had to cut that. That took about 5-6 hours to print the tail. I think. The Giants. You're looking about 10 hours to print the gi Iron Giant. From the movie of 1999. That's my thing I'm going to have. Excuse me Addison. Okay, really? My dog Kate had to lay in the way. So, pretty much, I gotta move my houses out of the way because this is where my theme park is gonna go. Okay? Like, you know, you go to carnivals and stuff like that and you win arcade games. That is something that you don't really see no more. It's a shame. Growing up in the 90s and mid 2001, or 2000, up to about maybe 2006, it was pretty great for me. Yeah, besides what happened in 2001 uh, with the uh, in New York and Washington, that was a sad day. But anyway, the uh, Iron Giant is going to go along with my Godzilla, but that's not it. I got one more piece yet. Oh, I forgot to paint it too. Oh yeah, I ain't got that in primer. <laughs> now that's just my Arcadia ship. I just had to print it out. That was my favorite thing to watch. It's called a Hardlock, the Space Pirate, and the Arcadia. He got to fly. I love that. Everything's awesome. Got finally got it painted after all this time. Oh yeah, Kong, King Kong. It's not quite like the movie, but I don't care. I accepted it. It was pre-file, so I downloaded the file and I printed it out. It's kind of small because this is about as big as I can make in my printer without having to cut the arms off and I don't want to do all that so that's pretty cool he is almost like age old size 2 but he fits right with my in scale stuff so I think this is going to be kind of cool for like a museum so piece like something like that and the iron giant probably in the middle but now I'm thinking about having a third dragon but I'm going to have to make a second dragon. Going to have to find some medieval time people. With knights of the round table, you know. Kind of like that stuff. Because that's my theme that I love the most. That's hence the castle. <laughs> Hello, Kate. My little puppy here. My little dog is somewhere. I don't know where he is. At. Probably laying where. Oh, he's on the couch? Yeah. Oh, I see him. Ripley. Ripley. Hi. <laughs> so, and it's kind of funny. With this static grass in the sunlight, it faded it and bleached it. So now the the grass is like a different color. It's pretty cool, I think. So I got some videos coming soon. I have done and editing and stuff like that. And also, I forgot to film, but my brother did on the Foster Mile Railroad Club. We are sending a care package to mom and son's train real fans so stay tuned for that video on their channel and you can see what uh me and my brother sent them so that's pretty cool haven't done too much with the big boy took it apart it's pretty not blew the engine apart yet but a lot of people said you gotta blow the engine apart the whole thing apart to make a dcc and sound so i'm waiting for runs and trains and things or is it runs train reviews something like that one of those two he's going to upload and do the big boy so that's gonna be pretty interesting so i can see how he did it and go from there because 
I took the tenor, me and my brother took the tenor part and <laughs> he can't put no decoder in it. So Kato, what the heck, man? Are you supposed to blow the whole train apart or what? Because it says you have to blow the whole train apart to change the headlight or something like that. I'm like, why would Kato do that? So I really don't know. I'm still trying to learn about this. There's no videos except for this one goofy guy. I'm going to say goofy because I don't like him. He shows you a thumbnail of the engine blowing apart. But when you click on the video, it's misleading. And he just goes through the whole entire video talking about what he did. I'm saying like, I want to learn how to blow this thing apart, how to take it apart. That way I don't mess up. And you just did it like that. And he's also the guy that has like a P42 that says he has no uh, current keeper in there, which I call BS on that. Because I know he's got one in it. He's just not saying it. I will say that. So that's my beef with him. But other than that, I don't let it bother me. I don't try to say on his channel like, hey, you know, you're lying. That's not cool. I don't do that. Because it ain't nice. So I keep my opinions to myself. But I figured to get that off my chest because I don't feel better about it. I'm sorry if I didn't even make anybody upset about it or anything. But it's just how I feel. So anyway, I got some more videos coming. Um, I wish I had a video last night, but I forgot my phone, and NS was actually on CSX Line. I don't know what it's called, being online, but I or the scene online, I think. I can't remember. Michael knows, but he's not. He's not here. He's out in the garage with the model club, working on the layout. Yeah, he's working on the layout, so. I'm in here doing all this because I got to catch up on my painting. Got to catch up on this. I got to catch up on all of this. All of this. I got my tools are right here. Oops. And all of those. All of these. Those. <laughs> and more. Now only do I have that. This is what the video is coming. I'm sorry I'm talking so much. You can skip the video if you want to. But I don't mind. Here is the video that's going to be coming soon. N scale well carters that I made myself. And I talked about how I'm going to make some of them a little bit different. So that way you don't have to like say print these out. And you got these other pieces like this piece and this piece are different. This piece is different with the little hook shape. So that way these can hook up together like that using these. The train car will go underneath. So hopefully, I might have to order more of these, so I might just do that here in a second. Because I have 10 of these cars, and I can do 12 of them. Or no, actually I got 12 of these now. I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cars. So I got 12 cars, I think the wheels can do it. Because basically you got 1, 2, because you got these, 3, like three four so I have to figure it out if I need to I can order more here in this a few more if I need more of them it is gonna be just basic train wheels like this with the cupper box be cut off and then glue it to like the end of here or something like that to keep them all level that's gonna be fun so anyway thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one oh if anybody can find me the correct wheels for these I'd be grateful because I've been looking and looking and looking and this is all what I can find are these stupid truck wheels. So if anybody knows where to get wheel truck wheels, I appreciate it. Or the trucks, I mean, for the wheel cars or the double stacks, I appreciate it if you made it this far. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.